Hi, I'm Paul Eisenstein for the AARP Bulletin. The car I'm sitting in right now may look very familiar, and for good reason. It's been getting a lot of attention this last year. It may be the most important car General Motors is bringing to market in decades. Why is it so important? Well, consider this. If you're a commuter, you may be able to use this car, the Chevrolet Volt, and drive on battery power, never having to use gasoline. But on longer trips, you won't be stuck on the side of the road with that battery drain to E. For a better explanation of what I'm talking about, we called on Tony Pazawatz, who's the head of the Chevy Volt program at General Motors. We hear a lot about hybrids, and there's a number of them on the road today. This is hybrid, but it's not the same as, as the ones we've gotten to know in the last few years. Now, the Chevy Volt is driven electrically 100% of the time. So most of the time, you get about 40 miles of electric range from the grid power from a very large battery. But it's different than most battery electric vehicles in that it gives you much more range with an onboard engine generator. The, burns gasoline or ED5, but gives you another 300 miles of range. There are cost issues, and there's pluses and minuses from what I understand. On the positive side, it's a lot cheaper to run on electricity than it is on gasoline. Absolutely. Right now, with the prevailing average rates in the United States, a Volt might cost you one to two cents a mile to run for fuel, whereas a typical gasoline-powered car, depending on the price of fuel, obviously, might cost you 10 to 12 cents a mile. So that might be savings of $1,000 to $2,000 a year going electric. Now on the downside, from what I understand, though you haven't released official numbers, this is going to come in somewhere north of $40,000 right off the bat. That's pretty expensive. Well, certainly new technology with a very expensive battery, which we anticipate over time will come down in cost, uh, will not be inexpensive to start. Are there some features on this that may be particularly attractive to older drivers, baby boomers and, and those even older? Well, the wonderful thing about the Chevy Volt is the Volt gives customers choice. You can plug in at the convenience of your home every day, and a plug-in for a Volt is overnight in a simple 110 volt outlet, six to eight hours. And one of the things we're seeing with this new technology is it's very easy and simple to use. Why is the Volt going to cost so much? Well, there's a lot of technology under the hood. You've got an internal combustion engine and an electric drive system all in one. The most expensive part of the electric drive system is the battery pack. But batteries are going through a serious revolution right now. You see the old EV1 lead acid batteries over one shoulder and the much smaller pack of lithium ion batteries that will be going into the Volt coming forward. The question is, will that pack live up to the rugged demands on the road and will it deliver the sort of expectations that consumers have? If it does, the Chevy Volt could become a revolution on wheels. I'm Paul Eisenstein for AARP Bulletin.